Remember to click subscribe and notification button for more Abbas video. Cooking Appa. Hi, this is Cooking Appa. Appa will be uploading minimum four videos every week, uh, which is on Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, at Malaysian time, 7 p.m. at night. You're going to find APA news video. And for the past two and a half years, APA has uploaded over 600 cooking videos on my YouTube channel. You can uh, take a look when you are free. And all the different dishes has been uh, categorized under different playlists. Seafood, chicken dishes, pork dishes, vegetable, tofu. Just go and uh, have a look. Uh, according to the playlist okay depending what you want and you don't have to follow my styles of cooking just do the way you like just get some idea from Appa okay um, today you are looking at some rice and some uh, uh, what we call this is Ngan Yi Chai Appa is going uh, my, my wife actually has been asking Appa to make Ngan Yi Chai Chao Fan if I translate that directly it will be silver fish uh, uh, littles little silver fish and uh, fried rice so the silver fish we are referring to this this is not anchovies yeah this is not anchovies uh, it is called this is i'm not sure where is the exactly uh, the real name for it uh, but cantonese or chinese we call it uh, chinese we call it ying, uh, ying yu silver fish if i direct direct trans translate it uh, cantonese called ngan yi zai okay so um, you can see a little bit of small little eyes <laughs> there okay and uh, i'm going to um, fry this until it is crispy using a uh, medium heat oil and then fry some uh, egg fried rice and put this over top on top of it and that's it very simple Okay, so I have here about uh, two cups of rice. When we say two cups of rice, we always referring to the Chinese. Uh, this is the mesh, rice rice measuring cup. Okay, two cup because I'm cooking for three adults and my daughter, so four person, each person about half cup. This is how we measure. And I, you don't have to cook it one night before. This is uh, I actually asked my mother-in-law to cook for me about maybe about three. Two three hours before I want to start cooking, and I have few eggs here with me: chicken egg, some. Uh, uh, this is uh, homemade uh, fried garlic, homemade garlic oil. Let's start with making the ngan yi zai. I did actually uh, rinse it under water quickly. So it's going to be almost like deep fried the ngan yi zai until it become crispy so you want to put in some good amount of oil here and um, I don't mind putting in when the oil is not too hot you don't use too high heat just use uh, medium or medium low slowly fry it because uh, this is actually quite delicate so it, I, it may get burned rather easily So I'll prefer safer. I would uh, suggest you to actually use uh, medium to medium low to slowly fry it to uh, use hot oil to force out the water within uh, the ngan yi zai itself. Some may want to use air fry should be fine no problem okay so you have to keep on stirring and you will definitely start seeing the color also to start changing also along the way um, just make sure you don't burn the ngan yi zai eh? keep on stirring like this and I think this will take you probably about close even close to uh, 10 minutes maybe right so we will come back after a few minutes later 
one of the things you will know uh, whether it's ready or not is actually just look at the bubbles. When you look, see all these bubbles, these are the water releasing from the Ngani side itself. If the, the, the bubbles is a lot, that is telling you it's definitely uh, not cooked yet. Yeah? Oh, I actually see some of the Ngani side started to change color. Already turned brownish a little bit. And the bubble is actually getting lesser from the compared to the time when we I first put it in. Right? So this is probably after about five minutes. So I will let it continue frying. Right? See what I told you just now? Look at the bubble, getting lesser and lesser. This is one sign telling you it is uh, almost there. I'm right, turning the heat lower a little bit. And when you are still um, sorting, um, you, uh, you can actually feel the Ngani Chai is actually getting uh, more and more crispy. It's actually done. Alright. So I'm going to take out the Ngani Chai from the hot oil immediately, if not. Okay. Quickly remove the Ngani Chai from the hot oil. If not, everything is going to get burned. <laughs> Okay, and don't use too high heat. All right, so my ngani chai is ready. Now just fry the rice. So prepare your wok here. Give it some generous amount of oil because I'm going to add in the, the uh, three eggs and the oil is going to absorb. I mean, the egg is going to absorb the egg. No, the egg is going to absorb the oil. <laughs> hey, what happened? Uh, somebody may ask, may want to ask me where do you, where did I get the ngan yi chai? I actually get it from the wet market. Uh, normal supermarket, so far I didn't really see. So it's easier to get this thing from the wet market. And I got it from, um, uh, I got it from Oakland Road wet market. Okay, and then I have three eggs here. You can put two, it doesn't matter. Put it into the oil. Let it stay a little while before I break them. You can actually season your egg a little bit right now with some light soya sauce if you like. I will do that. Give it a bit of light soya sauce. Okay, now I'm going to break the egg. One thing I like about standard steel wall is I can scratch the bottom whenever I like. It doesn't matter. Okay, while it is still half cooked, while the egg, the egg is still half cooked, I'm going to add in the rice. So that the rice can actually be uh, coated with the Egg easier. See? Did you see what I mean? Oh. Immediately the egg, uh, the fried rice turned golden color because they are coated by the half cooked uh, egg just now. When you want to press the fried the rice a little bit so that it can uh, uh, reduce the clumps and make sure your rice is actually in individual grain, yeah? rice grain. You may also crack uh, one egg yolk into the rice even before you fry. That's another way. Okay, nice beautiful color is ready very fast. Now I'm going to put in half, half of the ngan yi chai. Turn out the fire a little bit, sorry. And also some fried garlic. 
a little bit of uh, garlic oil. Some salt. Light soya sauce. Up the fire again. Of course, there's no fire on my electric stove, but you know what I'm talking about. Mmm, I can smell the light soya sauce. It's very fragrant. And my garlic. Ooh, nice. It's almost done. Very fast. Uh, give it a few a little bit of white pepper, few dashes. Not too much because my my three-year-old daughter is going to eat also. Alright, it's done. Of course, I'm going to top, uh, top it out with some uh, ngan yi chai also. Very fragrant. You, you must smell this. Really very fragrant. Done. So here's my ngan yi chai chao fan. And I'm going to top it out with the fr fried ngan yi zai, of course. Alright, done. So here's my very simple ngan yi zai chao fan for my family. I hope you like my video. If you like my video, do share my video on your Facebook to your friends. Come to Cooking Appa Facebook fan page to click like and follow button. Follow Appa on Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Appa YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.